spontaneous equations. So this is 100% another practice makes perfect, follow the recipe book and practice making that um, recipe lots of times and then you won't go wrong. So a simultaneous equation, I don't know if you've noticed before, but when we normally have equations, we only have one unknown and then we can find it. Simultaneous equations, there are two unknowns unknowns and they're usually x and y so for two unknowns means you have to have two equations and you solve them simultaneously which means you do them at the same time if you do something simultaneously you do it at the same time so I'm going to write the steps down and then we're going to go through an example using my steps and then we're going to do two exam questions Okay, so I've written down the steps and here are the steps. Now I'm going to write down an example and we're going to follow the steps. So solve, so solve 2x plus 4y equals 2 and 5x minus 3y equals 18. Now we know these are simultaneous equations because there's two of them and there's two unknowns, x and y. So step one, label equations. So I'm going to label this one 1 and this one 2. That's just, you know, to get a bit of order. Step two, so that's, that's fine. Step two, make x or y the same. So as you can see here, we've got 2x, 5y, 5x, 4y, 3, minus 3y. So it's saying make one of them the same. Now I always make x the same. So make x the same. So we want x to be the same for equation one and in equation two. And the way you do that is you multiply by um, the opposite um, coefficient of x in the different equation, which sounds really complicated to explain, but very easy when you watch. So I'm going to multiply this whole equation, so equation 1 by 5, and I'm, because, of, because of the 5 here, and I'm going to multiply equation 2 by 2 because of the 2 here, so the opposite one there, so I hope that is obvious. So that's step 2, make x or y the same, so let me just, you know, actually do this. So multiply equation 1 by 5. So 2 times 5 is 10x. 2, 5 times 4y is 20y. And 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, and now we need to multiply equation 2 by 2. So 5 times 2 is 10. Minus 3y times 2 is minus 6. And 18 times 2 is... 36. Okay, and now we can see the reason for doing that is we make x the same, as you can see here, these two x's are the same, and that was the goal. So that's why we've done this. So step two done, make x the same. Step three, subtract the equations. If you say so, step three. So we want to subtract these equations. And now you can see the reason we made these x's the same, because if we do 10x minus 10x, they just disappear. And that is the reason for making them the same. We're like getting rid of the chance of having an x in our equation. 20y minus minus, so be careful, minus minus 6y. So 20y plus 6y is 26y equals, and 10 minus 36 is minus 26. So we made the x's the same, so when we subtract them, we get rid of them, and now we only have one unknown in our equation, which is what we're very much like used to dealing with. So y equals, I'm going to take this 26 over the other side, so we divide by 26, and then that is, they cancel to give minus 1. So we've subtracted the equations, and now we've done step 5 automatically, and solved. Step 6, solve for the other value. Okay, so, aha, uh -huh. step 6, very, very important, very, very, very easily forgotten. So now we know what y is, but we've also got the x value, so we have to substitute this y equals 1, minus 1, back into either equation 1 or 2, like you can literally pick which one, I'm going to do it in equation 2, so I have 2x plus 4 times minus 1, substitute in the y value, Okay, so that's 2x minus 4 equals 2. 
So that is 2x equals, if we take the minus 4 there, it becomes plus 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. So that is x equals, and then we take the 2 over the other side. It's multiply on this side, so it's divide on that side. So it's 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Therefore, our final answer is y equals minus 1 and x equals 3. So I'm just going to write that here to make, make those exam examiners very happy. And that's how you do it. So I hope you could see clearly me following those steps and why. So now when we do two exam questions, we're going to do exactly the same thing, follow the same steps, and hopefully you'll get more used to it. Okay, so here we have the question. So now let's follow the steps again, and then maybe the next one we'll be able to do without the steps. So you step one, label the equations. One, equation two. Step two, make x is the same. So there's nothing we can really do at the moment because nothing is the same. So I'm going to multiply equation one by two, and I get that from here. And I'm going to multiply equation two by three, and I get that from here. It's usually the opposite. Opposite one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this equation multiplied by 2, 3 times 2 is 6x, 4y times 2 is 8y, and 200 times 2 is 400. This one is now by 3, so yeah, like just don't make silly mistakes basically, easier um, said than done. 2x multiplied by 3 is 6x, so there we go, make x is the same. 3y times 3 is 9y, and 144 times 3 is 432. Okie dokie, we're now on to step three, which is subtract the equation so we can eliminate having an x involved and solve nicely. So this is my subtract sign, I'm subtracting the equations. So 6x minus 6x disappears, that was the whole point of making the x's the same. That should always happen, if it doesn't happen you've made a mistake here. So, and then we've got 8y minus 9y, which gives us minus 1y. So we can just write minus y, we don't need to write the 1. Then we have 400 minus 432, which gives us minus 32. Now we can multiply this whole thing by minus 1, so we can just get rid of the minuses. So that is the same thing. And now we have y, so y equals 32. So we've subtracted and we've done step five, solve for the other variable. Okay, very important, don't forget, yes, we found y, and I think this must be done just like literally so many times. We also have to find x. So sub in y equals 32 into your original equation. So you can do either one. I'm going to go for one because it's number one. It's 3x plus 4, no longer y, 32 equals 200. So firstly, work out what's 4 times 32, 3x plus, and that is 128, equals 200. So I now have 3x equals, I'm going to take this over, so I'm going to have 200 minus 128, because it was positive on this side, so I'm going to do the inverse operation on the other side, and that gives me 72, which leaves me with 3x equals 72, so I'm going to take the 3 over the other side and again do the inverse operation. Multiply on this side, which means it's divide on the other side of the equal sign. And 72 divided by 3 is 24. So that's my x value. So now I'm going to write it out just really clearly so the examiner can see. I haven't forgotten. y equals 32 and x equals 24. You can always check that. So do you know what? Let's do it. Let's check. Let's put that back into equation 1 and I'll just type in my calculator. So we would have 3 x, 24, plus 4y, which is 32, and then let's see what we get, 3 times 24 is 72, plus 4 times 32 was 128, so 72 plus 128 is 200, so there we go, our answers work. So let's do one more exam question. So this is our final example of this type. So firstly, label the equations 1, 2. Our second step was make the x's the same. So that is where I have to multiply the first one by, in this example, 10, and multiply the second one by, in this example, 4. 
So, let's see that. Equation 1 times 10. 4x times 10 is 40x. Minus 3y times 10 is minus 30y. And 11 times 10 is 110. This one by 4. 10x multiplied by 4 is 40x. So we've made the x's the same, which was like what we asked, what the point was. 2y times 4 is 8y. And minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. Our next step was to subtract the equation, so with the purpose of eliminating this x that we don't have to then deal with. So we only have one unknown, so 40x minus 40x is 0. Minus 30y minus 8, 8y is minus 38y. And 110, careful with your minuses, minus minus 4 is 114. Looking for y now, so now we're on to step 5, which is solve. So we take the 30, minus 38 over this side. It's multiplication on this side, so we take it over the equal sign. And we're going to do the inverse operation, which is divide. So we divide by minus 38, and that is y is minus 3. So nice number, we're enjoying that. Now on to step 6, though, don't forget, we're not just looking for y. We also want to find out what x is. So sub in y equals minus 3 into either of these equations. Do you know what, this time I'll use equation 2. So we'll have 10x plus 2 times, not y, but minus 3 equals minus 1. So let's solve 10x, 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 equals minus 1. 10x equals, if I take the um, negative 6 over, it becomes positive 6, and that means minus 1 plus 6 is 5 x equals 5, take the 10 over, multiplication on this side means you divide on this side, so 5 divided by 10 is a half, so there are two solutions, so we have, just to like clarify at the end, y equals minus 3, and x equals a half. We can check that, so let's put it into equation 1 and check that, so 4 times x is a half, minus 3 times y is minus 3 equals, should equal 11, we'll see. So what is 4 times a half, that is 2, minus, so then we've got 3 times minus 3, which is minus 9. So that's 2 minus minus plus 9, which is 11. So we've checked that it does work. So that's um, the only way you need to know how to solve equations, simultaneous equations if you're foundation tier.